drag race, Georgia, um, you know, you crash and the crash injures uh, spectators, kills an eight-year-old. Um, all these years later, how vividly do you still remember that day? You know, that was in 1965. I was running a drag race somewhere in Georgia. And we get off the line, a car breaks an A-frame or something, and he had, goes off and kills a little kid that that's alongside the track. And it was, it took me a long time to get over that because I had a couple of kids, had three kids at the time, you know what I mean? And just, and I wasn't that old either. Uh, it was just one of the deals that, uh, you, you say, why? You know, why me? Why did, why did it all happen? But, you know, when, when stuff like that happens, you learn from it, but you can't live with it. You have to say, that was history. I can't go back. I can't change any of that. It is what it is. And so you, you learn to accept it. Then, you know, later on, uh, I think in 1975, um, my wife's brother was killed in, in a pit set at uh, Talladega. And we had a tank, and the tank blew up. <clears throat> I had a pressure tank, a water tank, and uh, the deal that blew up. And then in 2000, we lost grandson, Adam Petty, uh, in uh, New Hampshire. So you, you started out, um, the, the kid in Georgia I didn't know. Okay, but then I knew my brother-in-law. And then all of a sudden, it's my grandson. So it came closer and closer. But all of them sort of fit into a pattern of there were tragedies, we were there, we were involved, but we really didn't have anything to do with it. It just, again, it was a fate deal that happened. And, you know, the deal with, at least with Adam, then we were able to get together and go back and build the Victor Junction gang camp for chronically and seriously ill kids uh, 10 years ago or something. It's been going on. So, you know, out of tragedy for one or for a family or a few families, all the other, you know, 21, 22,000 kids that's come through there, it's been a blessing for them. So you look back and say, we lost one deal, but look at all the good things that come out of that. So that that's how I balance a lot. There was a letter that a fan wrote to you after the death of your grandson, yeah, this, Adam, passed away. Yeah, uh, some lady sent a letter. You know, it was a kind of a deal that, you know, you question yourself. And I mean, it, it really hit hard because I said, if I hadn't been in racing, then Adam probably wouldn't have been in a race car and he probably wouldn't have got killed in a race. The letter said, you know, don't put a question mark where God has put a period. And it, just, it was just like, it took away the world off of it. I mean, I... I've never had that many uh, occasions to feel relief, I guess was what it was. It was just a deal. Hey, you're not responsible. It, again, it just happened. And it just, just like, like I say, just like took a weight off of me. And, and then I could go on and do the help with the Victory Junction gang, do, do, do my business like I was supposed to. But for a couple of weeks there, I was, I was pretty down. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.